Hi, my name is Hao Li. I'm an assistant professor at USC in computer science. I work in the field of computer graphics with special focus on performance capture, facial animation, and interactive 3D reconstruction. Until recently, I was a research lead at Industrial Light and Magic. This is where we are right now. The idea is to use an algorithm that I've developed called a graph-based non-widget registration algorithm. This type of algorithm can be applied in many, many scenarios. In the beginning, it was mainly developed to replace performance capture, as you can see in, you know, in the visual effects industry. The idea was actually to replace markers. It takes a calibration time, actors have to wear those uncomfortable skin-tight suits, and you can't capture the in-between information, in-between the markers, so you don't get all the details. But what's really interesting, where we can really make a big impact, is to actually make it available to other fields. The first immediate domain is in biomedical imaging, the treatment of cancer. Reduce the amount of CT imaging that you need using a surface capture and to simulate where the tumor would be in 3D on the fly. It's been used for other domains also. Biologists are exploring these kind of techniques, the evolution of animals, how their skin patterns change over time, the wrinkles and skins of elephants. Other obvious applications are in surveillance. You want to get a real-time feedback of critical situations where you have a suspect somewhere in a public area. Depth sensing systems are much more promising than video because you can detect things in the dark and more accurately separate humans from backgrounds. These are obvious applications of it. Others include even fun things, you know, if you want to have a virtual mirror, I want to preview how I look like with a certain hairstyle. I can chat with a kid through a cartoony character. So real-time facial capture and also geometry processing to establish correspondences between shapes. The research that I do is mostly concerned about processing three-dimensional data that has been captured from reality. So what kind of processing are we talking about? Most of the times you want to have an existing object and you want to be able to track this 3D model given the incomplete information that you're capturing. Other kinds of problems are in terms of reconstruction. Whenever you capture something, you don't see the full thing. You only see part of it. So in order to do so, you need to find a relationship between shapes over time or even across different kinds of shapes. And this type of problem is called a correspondence problem. It's basically an optimization framework that sorts of deforms one shape to another by preserving geometric properties that would still preserve its rigidity as much as possible. And that's the chicken egg problem. So basically that's what the framework does. It constantly estimates where is the next point and how should I deform the shape. Should I keep rigid or should I be deforming? I think it's really important is that I always had certain idols I get my inspiration from. It doesn't even have to be people in my field. A musician, a rock band, and I like the style they are, I like the people, you know. There are certain things I like from them and I, I'll pick it up. You basically define what you want to do. I mean, you certainly have to have something that is really different, that is really yourself. What's also very important is how you actually execute problems. It often helps to actually set something, set a certain goal. Once you set the goal, break the goal down into smaller pieces and see how you actually get there. I think if you have a dream, if you have a dream basically means that you have a goal. So if you have a goal, even if what you're doing right now is not what you want to do in the end, but it, if it leads to what you want to do in the end, I think that's really important.